What's up guys, it's uh, Devilor here, and I'm back with Modded Terraria. So, I really enjoyed doing the the Terraria stuff recently, so I figured I'd do a whole Let's Play. Um, I've added a uh, couple new mods since then. Uh, here's the, the full list. So, yeah, um... The, I'm going to go for a ranger playthrough because, um, well, one, it's my favorite class. Two, I feel like not a whole lot of people like or will do the ranger class. So I feel like someone has to represent it. If you, you know what I mean. I feel like, like I was saying, I feel like the ranger is the least popular class might just be me but that that's just what i think anyway uh i love the ranger it's it's just fun for me i i like the advantages and the disadvantages um everyone seems to love mage and yeah mages are powerful but the issue with the mage is if you run out of MP, what are you going to do? It, it's funny. I've been watching a couple mage playthroughs recently, like new mage playthroughs on YouTube. And, um, and it, it's the same every time. Um, they find an early mage weapon, whatever it may be. And they don't have a lot of mana, so it takes, like, five minutes to kill one slime. And it, it, it's, it's just, it's kind of funny, actually, now that I'm talking about it. But, yeah, I, I like Ranger, because it gives you a lot of different options between the different arrow types. And, um, in addition to that... There are all sorts of different bows with all sorts of different effects. Alright, so uh, this is my guy. We're going to call him Devilor. And there he is in all of his ranger glory. Well, not yet, but you, you get what I mean. Um, I've already created a world so that it wouldn't really be an issue and I could just get started ASAP. But... Um, it is Expert, it is Crimson. Um, I prefer the Corruption over the Crimson. However, um, I almost always have a Corruption world as opposed to a Crimson. So I figured, A, it'd be cool to mix things up a little bit. And B, I, th I feel like uh, you get better buffs and things from the crimson side of the world than the corruption side, at least for a ranger. Anyway, I'm going to hop in there, quick jump cut, uh, I'll see you guys there. Um, this is my first time in this world. Uh, I haven't even looked at it yet, aside from this. And, um, so yeah, uh, first Um, this will not be a Revengeance Mode Let's Play. I'm sorry for those of you who wanted that, but I'm not that good yet. So, second thing. Normally, people start by chopping down trees to get some wood. However, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to look for the snow biome to see if I can find it so that I can make a bunch of snowballs. Because, um, I know that I said this was going to be a ranger playthrough, but it's going So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, um, run over to the, um... 
to the snow biome and grab a ton of snowballs because snowballs are actually very useful early game because they might not deal a whole lot of damage however they deal quite a bit of knockback which is very helpful when talking about surviving against mobs which is most well not most which is quite a bit of the danger in Terraria, especially in expert mode. So, yeah. Ooh, shurikens. Those will be nice. However, I don't think I'm going to need them yet. Man, you know, it, 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 I love this game and games like this where you get to the end and then you start over doing something different. But, Man, it, it feels so weird having gone from all of that speed from my main character that's at the end of the game to slow power walking this guy. It, it's such a jarring difference. Um, I'm going to grab some stone here because you do need stone to make arrows. And arrows are kind of important for ranged characters they're not super duper important they're not like the entire key to your whole damage they're just kind of nice to have they're nice little commodities if you know what i mean all right i know that this isn't the most thrilling gameplay but that that's early game terraria for you you're just sort of Building up your character towards something better. Which was the type of character that you saw in the 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 other Terraria videos that I did. Assuming that you saw them. Shameless plug-in! Or, shameless self-promotion! Yeah. This is a really big hill. Okay. And we're jumping. And we're still going up. You know, it'd be hilarious if I come all this way for the snow biome. And it turns out the snow biome's on the other side. That would suck for me. But it'd be kind of funny. And entertaining, at the very least. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and put torches in my off hands here, just to make things easier on me. Ooh, chest, that's good. This could be good. Or it could be a wand of sparking. Nope, throwing knives. Oh, yes, recall potions, all right. So that's really good. A hundred throwing knives, jeez. Alright, um, now the only issue is how am I going to get out of here? Ooh, ooh, this looks promising. Okay, I'm just going to mine this out, and then I'll get back to looking for the snow biome. Um... So yeah, uh, like I said, I'm going hybrid damage throwing, or rain. Yes, I'm going a damage playthrough. I'm going to do nothing but damage. Everything is menacing. Everything is pure damage. <sighs> I, I can't words. I cannot words right now. Um, so yeah. I'm going to prioritize ranged damage with um, throwing damage as like a subclass. So that ought to be fun. That's I mentioned this in the other videos, but that's one thing that I like about Calamity. It, um, it takes throwing damage and makes it viable throughout the entire game. 
which I really like because I I don't I don't know it's just I don't like how throwing damage was just sort of there uh, for an easy um, pre hard mode damage thing I don't know I feel like it wasn't thought through fully or something like that um, but this is a new Calamity enemy, a Wolfram Slime. When you kill them, they will drop Wolfram Shards, which can be used to make some pretty good early game equipment. It's nothing spectacular, but it is helpful. Um, actually, while we're not really doing anything, I might as well pull it up all right so you can make wolfram armor um ranged melee summon magic and throwing head gear and legs as well as these um what are these oh right so that um infinite mod that i installed allows you to make things like these which if you use a lot of a material you you can make infinite of them um you know the endless arrow quiver and endless musket pouch it's basically that but for a lot of different stuff i'm probably gonna go for the wolfram bow just because trying to grind out for the full set of armor, in my opinion, is not worth it. But it it's still good. It It's still armor. Sort of like this is still a, um... That's still... Um... Oh, what's it called? An, an, uh, an accessory. That's it. I, I, I can words. I can English. I'm smirt. And how do you spell that? Uh, C N O U R P Smorp. Yes, that that's. I don't know what I'm going on about. I'm I'm. I don't know. I'm tired. <sighs> All right. So, um, on top of getting a bunch of snowballs, um, I'm also here for the boreal wood, because boreal wood stuff is better than normal wood stuff. And, one, this is calamity. Two, this is expert mode. So, I, I really can't afford to get anything... Actually, no... I really don't want to get wood because I'm going to skip over it in like two seconds. I don't know, it's not to mention I just like the design of the boreal wood stuff more. Um, okay, more wool from slimes. I'm actually going to wall myself off here. Jeez, there's slimes everywhere. All right, um, that'll be good enough for now. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep excavating to get a bunch of snowballs because I think I already mentioned this, I don't know, but snowballs are incredibly useful early game. They don't deal a whole lot of damage, but they deal quite a bit of knockback, which is basically essential for surviving early nights before you really have any equipment yeah I, I already mentioned that and one of the things that the infinite everything mod adds is infinite snowballs so let's go ahead and turn all of these snow blocks into snowballs and how many do we need all right so 
999 snowballs. That might sound like a lot, but it's really not. Alright. I'm gonna hop up here and take out this Wolfram Slime real quick. Come on, buddy. No, stop running. There we go. Yeah. So I'm probably just going to use the Wolfram Shards for a bow and maybe some Wolfram Throwing Knives. Because those can be pretty sweet. Oh, get sniped. Although that wasn't really a snipe, especially because these are just throwing knives. Yeah, but I don't know if you can tell, but I'm having fun here. I really like Terraria. There's just something about games like this where you get to the end, you basically conquer everything, and then you reset, and you're back at nothing, and you have to work your way back up to the top. I don't know why, but there's something about games like this that I just love. Then again, I guess it's with any game if you just start a new game. Although there are some games where it's just like, no, no, I came too far, I'm not restarting. Like in, uh, in Monster Hunter. I have... Uh, I don't even know how many hours I have into the whole series. I started with uh, 3 Ultimate, where I got, I think, about 100 hours in. I still liked it. I got it before Ultimate came out, and that was what really got me to love the series. I put, I think I've put three, more than, over 350, possibly 400 hours into 4 Ultimate, and then I have like another 325 hours in Generations. So, I have invested a lot of time in a Monster Hunter. And that's just on one save file. So, at that point, I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm not starting over. I've come way too far. And I know that you have multiple save files and everything, but still. But other games like, um, oh jeez. Kingdom Hearts. I cannot tell you how many times I restarted on Kingdom Hearts 2. That game, man. That game was my childhood. I cannot wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 if it ever comes out. I know that that's a... Um, for those of you who don't know the game, that's a big joke in the in the Kingdom Hearts community. Kingdom Hearts 3 um, is never coming out because Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005 and we're still waiting on Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, there were, there were a lot of entries in the series that weren't Kingdom Hearts 3. It's not like the whole series just stopped for... Uh, 12 years after Kingdom Hearts 2. It's just there hasn't been a number en numbered entry since Kingdom Hearts 2. Man, I am so excited. 28... This year's this year has already been awesome for games. But next year, man. Next year is going to be awesome. Kingdom Hearts 3 is scheduled to come out some point in 2018. And on top of that, um, Monster Hunter World is supposed to come out early 2018. And I already explained my love of Monster Hunter. So, man, I am so hyped for that game. It's, it's gonna be awesome. I don't normally pre-order games... But I'm thinking I might break that rule just for World. 
because, dude, it looks amazing. Alright, so now I have infinite snowballs, which is nice. Admittedly, I'm not a huge fan of the sprite, but the sprite really doesn't matter. Oh, did you see that? Dude, that, that was actually really cool. So yeah, um, I got my pile of snowballs, which apparently a pile of snowballs means infinite snowballs. Uh, I'm going to grab a little bit more boreal wood, and then I think I'm going to head back to spawn. I would say to my house, but I don't have a house yet. Yeah, this is why you want snowballs early game, because... They deal quite a bit of knockback. Oh, that snipe, dude. Oh, one thing that I want to say. Wolfram slimes, and eventually when we see them, Wolfram drones, they don't take knockback. And if they do, they take a very little knockback from weapons like spears and boomerangs. So yeah. That's the one thing that you have to really watch out for when fighting Wolfram Slimes and trying to get their stuff. It's that they don't take knockback. So, generally, ranged weaponry is what you want to take them out with. But I, I like it. I like the Wolfram enemies. Because they give early game players another good alternative to armor and they actually increase damage as opposed to just defense because i think the first armor that in vanilla terraria that doesn't just increase defense is the the evil armor so crimson or corruption all right let's kill this ice slime and then we'll warp back home get started on my base, and figure things out. Alright. And we're back at absolutely nothing. So it, it looks like daytime is almost over, so I'm gonna chop these, tree to, bleh, bleh, chop these trees down, um, flatten some stuff out, just sort of flatten this area out a little bit and then um, I'm gonna build my shelter and hopefully excuse me and hopefully I will be set for the night yeah riveting gameplay I know So, I think... Man, these trees are really tall. I think this is the last tree that I'm going to cut down. Oh. Okay, uh, I know I'm sort of everywhere, but I just spotted some Daybloom over yonder. So, I'm going to go... Nope, don't... Oh. Sorry, Mr. Squirrel. I didn't mean to kill you. It just sort of happened. My bad. All right, so we got some daybloom growing. Yeah, sniped. All right, so yeah, just finish flattening this bit out. All right, and then from here, I think I'll just make uh, this part the main house. See, it kind of sucks because what I always end up doing is I always end up just sort of s making um, a resident, like a small temporary house somewhere, and then I want more NPCs, so I end up expanding the house. And then eventually, um, it's just, I didn't mean to have this house be 
my permanent house, but it it's but I'm too lazy to move and everything's already so developed. It's just kind of funny actually. So All right, so you, apparently you need an anvil to work with the wool from stuff. It's not that big of a deal, but all right, sweet. Wolf from bow. So we have our first ranged weapon. Ooh, it's powerful too. So I'm gonna favorite these, as well as throwing knives because they're useful. Let's take the grenades out of the hot bar just because. Oh yeah, make an aglet real quick, just because we can. Ooh, lucky. I think I'm gonna try and get most of my accessories to Lucky for, um, as for, oh, what's it called? Um, yeah, for prefixes. I think I'm gonna try and get most of my prefixes to Lucky. Okay, do we, yes we do, alright. So we have enough armor for the four for the for the full boreal set which gives us four defense okay so it's actually no better than just normal wood armor but eh oh well and our wolf from bow is better than the wooden bow or the boreal wood bow so I'm going to put one chest here, one chest, hang on, there, yeah, there we go. And then, well, first of all, I should probably make some walls. Um, let's go with boreal wood walls. I like the way that these things look. So, I'm just going to fill out the house, put a couple torches in, and then I'm going to make a platform at the top as opposed to a door because it'll be a lot more difficult for them to to get through if I do it like that I wanna jump up and use my grappling hook to stick to the to, to the ceiling but I can't because I don't have a grappling hook yet alright can I actually okay no I can't Wait. Alright, thank you, Climbing Claws. Alright. So now we just need to put a couple torches around. Put one there. And we'll put one there. And. Bada bing, bada boom. We have. Oh. I forgot about that. No, I don't want that. I want to take out this chest and then make boreal wood chair so um, you can use a workbench in place of a table if you want to however um, a table still works fine can I? oh boo I wanted to put a chest on top of the workbench Oh well. Alright, so this chest will be... Hmm. Building. And I'll put my, my boreal wood in here because I like the look of it. And then... Let's take out this slime. No. Away with the foul demon slime thing. Nope. That was close. Ooh, right. So, um, because of one of the mods that I have installed, I have no clue which one it is, but, um, seasonal mobs like the present slime will spawn in naturally, even though it's not anywhere near Christmas. Uh, like I said, I don't know which mod does that, 
my guess would be the Fargoitz mod, but I don't know. <sighs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and plant some of these trees back up. There. There, that should be good. Alright. So, not a whole lot going on right now, but it's only the first episode. So you can't really expect much. First episode is always slow um, in games, especially for Terraria. But, eh. I, I think I made some decent progress. Um, I found the snow biome. I got a bow. I got infinite snowballs. And I'm having a good time. So, uh, hang on. Um, how... Okay, so, one wood and one stone will get me 25 arrows. So, let's go ahead and mine out this stone here. And make some arrows. And then we'll end the episode there. So... Oh, I don't know if all of you know this, but... In Terraria, the snow biome and the dungeon are always on the same side of the map. And the jungle is always on the opposite side of the map from them. So, even if I didn't reach the snow biome, I would have reached the jungle eventually, and then I would have known that, it, that the snow biome was in the other direction. So, just a little tip for those of you who don't know the game very well. And are just starting out. Yes. But. Okay. I think. Um, that's good there. So. Yeah. Th this is a nice little house. I like this. I'm probably going to move somewhere. And make a really cool house. Uh, you saw the one that I made. In my. Um in my personal world. That one is really cool. But, um, hang on. Uh, alright, so Endless Quiver is still made the same. Nice to know. Um, do what? Okay. Alright, I got my plan. I know what I'm doing. Right, so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.